Yes, you and Zexy spent most of the game looking at robot butts. <laughs> I do vaguely remember that now. It was so long ago. Chapter 5, The Escape. Alright. No oh, more testing. You made it through. Well done. Okay, follow me. We've still got work to do. At least you can touch us back here. It's amazing how similar it is to... Um, hmm. Okay. Okay, d uh, don't move. Okay, alright, so, I've got an idea, but it is bloody dangerous. Here we go. <laughs> oh, for God's sake, they told me <laughs> that if I ever turned this flashlight on, I would die. They told me that about everything. I mean, I, I don't even know why they bothered giving me this stuff if they didn't want me to use it. It's pointless. Man! <laughs> Um, like, it's amazing how similar it is, like, at the start of this game to Portal, Portal 1, where you, you, know, you do the testing, and now you're outside of the testing area, trying to escape. But, just little differences, and more characters, and more humour. I love this game so much. Ooh. It's dark down here, isn't it? They say that the old caretaker of this place went absolutely crazy. Chopped up his entire staff of robots. All of them robots. They say at night you can still hear the screams of their replicas. All of them functionally indistinguishable from the originals. No memory of the incident. Nobody knows what they're screaming about. Absolutely terrifying. Though obviously not paranormal in any meaningful way. <laughs> I'm just exploring at this point, by the way. <laughs> Try to jump across. We. Let's keep moving. The factory entrance must be around here somewhere. Careful, careful. Wait, careful. Let me light this jump for you. That's too spoopy for me, I'm out. Okay, this looks dangerous. <laughs> I'll hold the light steady. Whee! Oh, nicely done. Quick, this way. Here's an interesting story. You might like this. I almost got a job down here in manufacturing, but uh, guess who the foreman went with? Only an exact duplicate of himself, nepotism. Ended up giving me the worst possible job, tending to all the smelly humans. The, the, um, sorry, that's, no, I'm say smelly. Just, just tending to the humans. Sorry about that, that just, that just slipped out. A bit sensitive. The smelly humans. <laughs> Thanks, Wheatley. Appreciate it, bud. Okay, we have to split up here for a moment. Portal up to that passage, and I'll see you on the other side. We've got to get you out of that room. Can you reach that wall back there? Okay. Just the way they look is great, <laughs> and their folklore, wonderful, and very colourful. Yeah, yeah, Wheatley. Whatever, bud. <laughs> Getting boxed up. They're putting them together like that. <laughs> I never noticed that little detail before. All right. Probably didn't need to go all the way around this, but why not? Maybe I 
actually... I don't think we want to go all the way to the bottom. Is there actually anything here? Worth seeing? I guess not. From Portal 2 to horror game. <laughs> We're not even at my favourite part of the game yet. I'm already, like, loving it so much, but this isn't even the best bit. <laughs> so much more. Oh, we got to save the turret from the conveyor belt. Please do not engage with turrets heading towards redemption. Turret redemption lines are not rides. Please exit the turret redemption line. Where is it? Is it on this one? Maybe it's on the next one. I'm sure there's a turret that you save on this. Is there not? There it is! Get mad! <laughs> oh, I've never heard this turret before! I do remember the turret actually. Now that I, now that it's her name is Carolyn. Her name is Carolyn. Remember that. <laughs> That's all I can say. Yeah. What's up? The references. That's a very special turret, that one. It's another part of the uh, story that you have to put together yourself. The broken ones really are funny. I did my best. I'm doing good, thanks Mikyoti. I'm really enjoying Pardo 2. Response. Oh, I remember this. Response. You made it through. Well done. Temple. Follow me. You're going to love this. Response. Almost there. Ta da! Only the turret control center. Thank you very much. See that scanner out there, right? Temple. It's deciding which Response. turrets to keep and which to toss. And it's using that master turret there as a Temple. template. Now, if, if we Response. pull out the template turret, it'll shut down the whole production line. Right. Um, hmm. I'm going to have to Response. hack the door so that we can get at it. Technical. Um, you'll need to turn around while I do. Response. Why do I need to turn around, Wheatley? Response. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Turn around. I'll only be a second, if you wouldn't mind. <laughs> this is class. Response. <laughs> Good hacking skills, Wheatley. That should do it. Template missing. 
Continuing from memory. Oh, it hasn't done it. What, what, what do you have there? Template. Yeah, that's good. Nice. What, what are you? Oh, brilliant! It's pr that's brilliant! New template accepted. If we're lucky, she won't find out all her turrets are crap until it's too late. <laughs> Classic. Okay, keep your eye on the turret line. I'm gonna go and hack the door open. Template. Yes. Response. Okay, I'm about to start hacking. It's a little bit more complicated than it looked from your side. It should take about 10 minutes. Keep one eye on the door. Template. Response. Response. This door's actually pretty complicated. No! Oh. How long's the door been open? I mean, was there any sort of announcement before it opened? Like a, like a buzzer or an alarm of some kind? Or like a hacker alert? I mean, you know, fair enough, the important thing is it's open, but it's, in, it's just mentioned in the future. Cough or something. <laughs> if you don't do anything, it talks a lot and it's really interesting by itself. Yeah, I mean, there's lots of little right, things no, in this game. use a turret, so let's go and take care of that neurotoxin generator as well. Neurotoxin that way, employee daycare center this way. Let's check it out. Um, yeah, like there's there's lots of little bits in this game, I guess, that are quite like that, where you you know if you don't do anything, it just it just Bring continues. Bring your daughter to work day. That did not end well. And forty potato batteries. Embarrassing. I mean, I realise they're children, but still, you know, low hanging fruit and all that. Barely science, really, is it? Bring your daughter to work, dear. Electricity from a potato? Yes, totally. Wow. Potato battery, not a lemon. Potato battery versus lemon battery. <laughs> Baking soda volcano. Well, you know, at least it's not a potato battery, I'll give it that, but it's not terrifically original, is it? You know what I mean? Not exactly primary research, even within the child sciences. I'm guessing this wasn't one of the scientists' children. You know, I don't want to be snobby, but let's be honest, it's got it's got manual labourer written all over it, hasn't it? Now I'm saying they're not as good as the professionals, you know, they're just they're just a lot dumber. Look at that, it's growing right up into the ceiling. The whole place is probably overrun with potatoes at this point, isn't it? At least you won't starve, though. And this is an Easter egg. This potato definitely had some uh, had some growth had a growth spurt. Let's have a look if we can find it. Uh, where is it? There it is, by Chell. And that is who we are. This is our potato. And we were one of the, we were a daughter of one of the scientists who worked here. Who GLaDOS ended up killing with neurotoxin. And then we got roped into doing the testing that we saw in Pod 01. Our potato. That was one of the the backstory things that you have to, again, you're not told all of this, you just have to figure it out. I'm pretty sure we're going the right way, just to reassure you. Don't worry, I'm absolutely guaranteeing you 100% that it's this way. No, it's not this way. Okay, let's try this way. Yeah, a little bit sad. But it was clear that after GLaDOS took over, there's just... I think that's at the end of the co-op. Uh campaign that they, they, the robots just find hundreds and hundreds of humans that are stored in cryostasis ha, and all that. Right 
This is the neurotoxin generator. Bit bigger than I expected. Uh, not going to be able to just, you know, push it over. Have to apply some cleverness. There's some sort of control room up at the top. So uh, let's go and investigate. We were just one of those as the daughter of one of the... One of the scientists. <laughs> There's our handiwork. I shouldn't laugh, really. They do feel pain of a sort. It's all simulated, you know. But uh, really enough for them, I suppose. Door's locked. Just checked it. No way to hack it, as far as I can tell. Uh, mechanism must. Oh, now look at that. That's a bit later. Probably best to ignore it, though. Just leave it be. We don't know where those panels it's cutting. What are you doing? We don't know what that button. Oh, well done. Well done. Let's see what's it. Good news. I can use this equipment to shut down the neurotoxin system. It is, however, password protected. Ah, alarm bell. No, don't worry. All right. Not a problem for me. You may as well have a little rest, actually, while I work on it. Yeah, yeah, we'll have a little rest, whatever, Wheatley. We'll just do all the work. In case of implosion, look directly at implosion. <laughs> do you smell the neurotoxin? Hold up, the neurotoxin levels are going down. Hold on, something's wrong. Neurotoxin levels up to 50%. No, it's down. Sorry, my mistake is, I meant to say it's down 50%. It's good news, carry on. That did it. Neurotoxin at 0%. Yes. Hold on. Warning. Neurotoxin pressure has reached dangerously unlethal levels. <laughs> dangerously unlethal levels. Ha! The tube's broken! We can ride it straight to her! I can't hold on! Come on! Come oh. on, we have to go! Hurry! Nyong. Okay, there we go. <laughs> what an implosion. Dusk with the one dollar, I just wanna say just want to thank you for this in-depth playthrough of Part 2. I don't think I would have I ever would have spotted half the Easter eggs that you've found already. Oh well that's good. I mean I have people helping in the chat with for the Easter eggs right at least. I can't believe I'm but, yeah, it's good it. to explore the Easter Woo! eggs a bit. <laughs> I knew this would be fun. They told me it wasn't fun at all. So they said it's not fun at all. And I, I, I believed them. I don't know. I was a fool to myself. Oh, and I'm, I'm, lo I'm loving this. Wait a time. <laughs> this place is huge. And we're only seeing the top layer. It goes down for miles. All sealed off years ago, of course. We should be getting close. Goes oh, down for miles, eh? All sealed no off years ago. No Interesting. Courage. She'll never know what hit her. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, because I, I, I might not have thought this next part would be. Ah, ah. Well, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going the wrong way. Get to her. I'll find you. Okay. Full of good plans, Wheatley, isn't he? Doesn't quite have the execution. At this place, it's huge. <laughs> GLaDOS emergency shut down and cake dispensary. Keep unlocked. <laughs> you ever get the feeling that something's not quite right? Jellyfund with the 100 bits. The cake is a lie. Cookies are truth. Great stream, bruv. Happy birthday also. <laughs> Thank you, Jellyfund, for the bits. I honestly, truly didn't think you'd fall for that. <laughs> In fact, I devised a much more elaborate trap further ahead for when you got through this easy one. If I'd known you let yourself get captured this easily, I would have just dangled a turkey leg on a rope from the ceiling. Uh oh. Uh oh. Well, it was nice catching up. Let's get to business. 
I hope you brought something stronger than a portal gun this time. Otherwise, I'm afraid you're about to become no. the past president of the Being Alive Club. Uh -huh. <laughs> the immediate Seriously. past president of the Being Goodbye. Alive Club. <laughs> oh, you were busy back there. Just well, a little bit. I suppose we could just sit in this room and glare at each other until somebody drops dead. But I have a better idea. It's your old friend, Deadly Neurotoxin. If I were you, I'd take a deep breath and hold it. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you so much. Warning. Central core is 80% corrupt. That's funny. I don't feel corrupt. In fact, I feel pretty good. Alternate core detected. Oh, that's me they're talking about. To initiate a core transfer, please deposit substitute core in receptacle. Core transfer. Oh, you are kidding me. I've got an idea. Do what it says. Plug me in. Do not plug that little idiot into my mainframe. No, you should plug that little idiot into the mainframe. Don't you dare plug him in. Plug me in, plug me in. Don't do it. Don't listen to her. Do it. Do it. Oh, we're so... Substitute core accepted. Substitute core. Are you ready to start the procedure? Yes. Corrupted core. Are you ready to start the procedure? No. Oh, yes, she is. No, 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 no. <laughs> stalemate detected. Transfer procedure cannot continue. Yes. Pull me out, pull Unless me out, a stalemate pull associate pull is out, present to press the stalemate out, resolution pull button. Pull me out, leave me in, leave me in. <laughs> Don't press it. <laughs> pull me out, pull me out, pull me out, pull yes, me out, do leave do me in, leave me in. Don't press that button. You don't know what you're doing. I think she's lying. Not so fast. <laughs> think about this. You need to be a trained stalemate associate to press that button. You're unqualified. Okay, don't listen to her, all right? It is true that you don't have the qualifications, but you've got something far more important than that. A finger, all right, with which to press that button so that she won't kill us. Impersonating a stalemate associate. I just added that to the list. It's a list I made of all the things you've done. Well, it's a list that I am making, because you're still doing things right now, even though I'm telling you to stop. Stop, by the way. Okay, uh, that's probably correct, but where it's incorrect is that while I've been stalling you, we just press the button. Use the moment of confusion I've just created to press the button. <laughs> I really enjoyed watching the first game on the second channel, and watching live is so much fun. Great stream, thank you. You're welcome, Riddles. Hopefully, people will enjoy watching this on the second channel as well. Particularly disputes. And number one, also tied, um, button pushing. Two things I love about you button pushing and the ability to resolve things. Chiefly disputes. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. First of all, stalemate resolved. Please return to the core transfer bay. Here I go! Wait, what if this hurts? What if this really hurts? Oh, I didn't think of that. Oh, it will. Believe me, it will. Are you are you just saying that, or is it really gonna hurt? You're just saying that, aren't you? You're just no, you're not. You are. It is gonna hurt, isn't it? Exactly. How painful are we talking? Ah! No, stop! No! 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 Yay! Whoa! Would you look at this? Not too bad, eh? Giant robot. Massive. It's not just me, right? I am bloody massive, aren't I? Oh, right, yeah, the escape lift. I'll call it now. There we go. Lift called. Look how small you are down there. I can barely see you. Very tiny and insignificant. Wait, I've just thought of something. How am I going to get in? You know, being bloody massive and everything. Wait, let me tell you, I knew it was going to be cool to be in charge of everything, but wow, this is cool. And check this out, I'm a bloody genius now. I don't even know what I just said, but I can find out. Oh, sorry, no, the lift, yes, sorry, keep forgetting. This body's amazing, seriously. Thanks, Wheatley, have fun. You are, but I'm huge. I'll just get out of here. 
<laughs> we took down GLaDOS. <laughs> uh, actually, why do we have to leave right now? Do you have any idea how good this feels? Wheatley? I did this. Tiny little Wheatley did this. Wheatley! Do anything. She did all the work. Oh, really? That's what the two of you think, is it? Well, I didn't say anything. I did something then. What are you doing? No, no, no. And don't think I'm not onto you too, lady. You know what you are? Selfish. I've done nothing but sacrifice to get us here. And what have you sacrificed? Nothing. Zero. All you've done is boss me around. Well, now who's the boss? Who's the boss? Wheatley, Wheatley, Wheatley. See that? Didn't take long, did it? It's a potato battery. Drunk with it's power immediately. And now she lives in it. <laughs> Sorry, uh, what? The engineers Not listening. It was your voice. No, you, no, you're lying. Yes. You're lying. You're the tumor. You're not just a regular moron. You're designed to be a moron. I am not a moron. Yes, you are. You're a moron they built to make me an idiot. Well, how about now? Now who's a moron? Could a moron punch you into this pit? Ah! Can a moron do that? Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Designed to be the idiot, indeed. And we've just given him control of the entire facility. Whoops.